Here is the booth space in the new antique mall. So it comes out to where the the change of color is in the flooring. And that would be the difference between us and them. So we're going to have to have some kind of barrier. <sighs> It's a good sized space. It's just laid out so differently. I don't, it's going to be harder for me to figure out how to set up the booth. But this is the place. Finishing it out really nicely. Sessions up here. This is called the root beer bar. I guess they're going to have maybe coffee. And then there's a lounge area. So, yeah. Go down the ramp, and there's all these booths down here. He offered us this corner space. This one. But I still think this is too small. The space up front is bigger. But, so this space and this space and this space are all the same size as our space up here. Which, it's laid out differently than our space at the Armadillo, like I said before, but it's, it's pretty much the same square footage. I'm just worried about this sunlight. I wonder if we get to keep the horse and the, and the dude. Space <laughs> in the back, that's right by the bathrooms, which is right there. And I'm going to go look how much this space is. But this lady right here, Shannon, I'm already friends with her, and she's in that space right there. So we'd also have this wall that we could hang stuff on on this side. And we have three outlets. And we actually have a ceiling that we could build up and hang things from, whereas in the front, we don't have a ceiling. We are open. So, okay. back from church. Haven't been in a while. Feels good that we went. Um, one second. I've been waiting for a nice, warm Denver day to clean my building, uh, my studio. I haven't wanted to come out here because I did some sanding in here and kind of got yucky. So I'm going to spend, let's see, it's not really 2.15, it's 1.15. I don't know why it says 2.15. I should fix it, but I don't have a stepladder out here. Anyway, I'm going to do some cleaning in here, and I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. That's what my floor looks like. I have to take that. In the house because tomorrow it's supposed to snow all day and I'm gonna work on that to go on the dresser these go with the dresser those got to go on the porch and then I'm gonna clean up so we'll see how that goes bye I got that area of the floor cleaned over there and all this stuff was over here and I decided I'd move it over there and I'm going to do some rearranging here um, yeah I've got 
this table that I use kind of for storage, I think I'm going to start using this as a workbench and I'm going to turn this table into my storage table. So that is where I'm at with that. And in the meantime, I got a call from the Brass Armadillo. There was a lady buying my big, well, it's not big, but my green uh, bench that I did a while back. I did a single video of it um, with that Jamie Ray technique uh, with the different colors and, um, oh, it had a transfer on it. And then she had four of the books I just put in there this week and like four or five other things and she wanted a discount. So I told the guy, give her 15% across the board. So, yay! But now we've got to really rock and roll because we literally only have one painted piece of furniture left and that's another bench that has a rooster on it. And it's the exact same bench as that green one, but it's done farmhousey. And uh, we got some things out of the building earlier. I will show you that we're going to be working on this week. We're getting snow all day tomorrow. So that's why I really wanted to clean out my building today so I could feel comfortable. When it gets dirty and gross, I don't want to be out here. So um, it smells like so super clean. Honey came in here and was like, ah, open your window. And it's really comfortable. I'm wearing a kind of a fleece lined shirt and I'm getting warm. So um, anyway, we're really happy with how this is going. So I'm going to get organizing some more and I'll be back. Much done cleaning. There's still some white paint right there I need to work on. And there's a few little spots that I need to get some special cleanser for. But <clears throat> I really like how it turned out. And so when I have a piece of furniture I'm working on, that piece of furniture will go um, right here. And all of my supplies, you know, are going to be over here. I will look out my window every time I need to get supplies. I'm looking out there. There's some, some bunny tracks. Actually... Those look more like hoof prints. We get lots of raccoons and um, foxes and things like that back here. Even some geese. But anyway, back to back to the room. Um, I did talk to Honey about my glass collection. He's like, oh my God, you have a lot. I was like, do you think I should take it to the booth? He nodded his head very ferociously. Yes, take it to the booth. But we're going to wait and take that to the new booth because there's no room at the old booth. Um, so I really like this storage thing here. I, I need to get my other um, tote there. But anyway, um, TV fits really nicely right there. I wanted it to go underneath there. And this was a little too high. So um, I needed to put it on that little table there. This is kind of going to be my workbench. I've got some storage underneath. And then I've got... This can also be a workbench, but right now it's storage. And then up there is storage. I could probably fit all that stuff up there. And I probably should just go get, I should probably just go get a step stool and do that. I think I will. And then there's my heater. It keeps it toasty in here. It's Monday. This is what I worked on yesterday. And I'm still having some crackling issues so I sanded this down I shellacked it again this is a third coat of third or fourth coat of shellac that one's got some staining so I did that one as well but that's how that's looking and then here's the mirror part only I discovered the mirror was oxidized yesterday so I'm really really unhappy about that I did come out here this morning oh, it's nice and warm in here and I started painting this I mixed I'll be honest with you Jamie Ray had mixed uh, skeleton key and bohemian blue and I really loved how it looked after she white waxed it so I wanted to attempt this um, this piece 
this chest and obviously I missed a bunch and I need to scrape these off so I can paint the bottom but I think this is gonna look fantastic white wax and I'm looking forward to that so I did end up putting some more stuff up there so that's cool that that works um, and then I've got this piece that honey took the top off of that I'm gonna start painting and I'm pretty sure I'm going to paint this white. And then he is going to put a slatted top on it. And I'm going to stain those pieces before they go on. And we're going to do the same with this. He's going to take this top off. I'm going to paint that. I'll probably paint that a different color, though. I probably won't paint that one white. But this one's definitely going to go white. we got to get some stuff at the antique mall because some a bunch of stuff sold yesterday. Like, we sold $344 yesterday. So, all right, I'm going to finish painting this up. I've got this beautiful piece that I'm going to paint white, and I think I'm going to try milk paint on that. Um, I've never used milk paint, but I have some, and I want to paint, paint that up as well. So, um, these two pieces here, we're going to make try to make some mantles out of these. And we're bringing a piece in uh, later this afternoon for me to paint over the week. We've just, I'm, we've got to get furniture in the antique mall. So, all right, we've got lots of running around to do today. We're going to take you along with us and we'll, we'll see you then. President's Day and we sold the other bench that was right there. So we came down, we sold a ton of other stuff and we needed to rearrange. I think we're going to take down when we come on when we come later in the week let's take down let's take down most of these windows and put them in the in the crate right. I think I'm going to take this home and paint it We spent the day out. Didn't do much vlogging because we just did it. <laughs> so we got this table the other day. This is off Facebook Marketplace. It's a coffee table and it comes apart. So this is the top and this part is the bottom. And then those legs get screwed in to separate the two. We got this really cool. Um, piece today at the restore and I'm gonna farmhouse up that bad boy uh, we paid 25 for that and I'm hoping when I'm done to get 75 for it this was 10 that was 15 over there and these two um, we purchased to paint and um, use as displays in the new booth honey got an angle grinder and some other tools. This is part of a mantle that we got for $25. And it's a pretty substantial mantle that I'm going to put a bunch of um, molds, well, appliques. It's gotten really cold out here. This warm enough earlier, all I was wearing was a sweater. There's the mantle. <laughs> there it goes. Here's the other mantle. We got those boards and this board. Um, we're going to do signs out of those. And then he's going to cut some stuff out of this. You'll see. And then we got that ladder. And I'm going to uh, paint and distress that and sell it as a, you know, to hang quilts and stuff on. So there we go. That's what we did today really excited for this super excited for that okay oh my god it's so cold but let's go see what's going on out in honey's building Ooh, cold 
And you know what? I don't think I've ever shown this <laughs> on this vlog. But this is the back of our camper. We are massive Walking Dead fans. Hi. Hi. We were just coming out to... Huh? Oh, well, you can talk to all of us. <laughs> Look, he shoveled his whole deck. <laughs> Oh, it's nice in here. Toasty. Look at you. Nice. This will confine his mess a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> and that's all your tools in here? Yeah. That's a nice box. I have to build a shelf underneath it. Just to conceal more tools. Yeah. So what's up? What would you like to talk to us about? <laughs> well, what I was curious about is I tried the gouging. And with put, that, put it up here. Let me see. You know, I'm not really curious. I'm not really that's not sure. really... That's not really what it's supposed to do. Okay. I need to show you a video. Yeah. So you can understand. And then I'll get the proper tool for it. If this is not it. Yeah. Unless I'm just putting too much pressure on it or something. But yeah, let's watch that video together. Yeah. And um, are you going to cut out this one? Yeah, that's why I did my test up here. I can't wait. Look at that, guys. That is smoking. I love it. I can't wait to work with it. <sighs> okay. Got stuff over here to work with. I do need to purge some of this for him, though. But anyway, what are you doing with these? I haven't decided yet. I'm probably getting pull off the tongue and groove on them. I'm going to cut the tongue and groove off. How come they seem like they're stuck together? Because they are. Why are they stuck together? Because I, 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 I use scraps for like putting paint cans on. Oh. Don't put paint cans on this. This is cool stuff. You can still tongue and groove this and we can make signs out of it. I've got, I've got just a couple more pieces that I can do that with. Oh, those aren't ones that needed to go back? No, you already no. took those back? Yeah, those are the ones I had to cut down. Guys, we don't know what to do with this clock. Actually, because see, it's, it's really kind of cool how it opens like that. But, I mean, I guess you could put a shelf from here to here back mm -hmm. and maybe from here to here when it, the furthest it comes out, you know, does that make any sense? No, absolutely. And I can order a stencil. I can paint over that and put a new cloth on there. Because that one's hideous. But I love all this detail up here. Mm -hmm. So, but Honey and I talked this morning as we were in our travels. And um, <clears throat> we're going to make a plan for how to make vintage stuff and things more of a job for um, oh yeah, speaking of which, I have to be at work tomorrow at 11 a.m. To be at work? I work for Vintage. Well, <laughs> if you come at 11 a.m., you're going to be a little tardy to the party. Well, I've got some other things I have to do prior to that. All right, maybe we should go for now. <laughs> No. I'm just going to say that, that my boss does not like for me to take phone calls or breaks or stop at all. <laughs> stop it. Your boss let you sleep in today. 
You and your dog. You and my dog. My dog. All right. I don't know if we'll do another video before. Well, we will do another video because we have to do that haul video of all the shit that's in the. All the what? All the shit. The junk. <laughs> Jamie and Zeb call it junk, so I'm going to call it junk. Okay. That, that I thrifted this week. I wish we could do a, a haul on the stuff we thrifted today, but it's mostly so big that it's hard to like hold it up and show it and talk about what we paid for it, talk about what we're going to do to it, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I do I'm, know tomorrow I'm going to do just a little clean out in here. We did find out today that um, the new antique mall is wanting to open. Well, we don't know that 100%. I know, but the word on the street is they want to open in two weeks, which is rather terrifying. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. Well, we'll probably catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Up next on the docket, this beautiful dresser that's clearly scratched up, but beautiful, was free. Look at the mirror that goes with it. beautiful and the piece that goes over there the way it goes it's really kind of unique there's actually you can see that square right there there's a piece that comes up like that and then this goes on top of that piece it's just it's just it's gonna be so cool and it was free they were just like we've had this i don't know we've had this probably four or five months and they were like just come and get it it's free so um i am going to use this transfer on it it won't all fit i'm going oh don't look at my nails please oh my gosh I'm going to cut it right here and cut it right here. So it's going to say Paris and have the lions on it. And I'm going to paint it a dark gray base with a creamy, creamy white drawers. And then the handles are going to get painted black. And then that piece over there is going to get the base of it's going to get painted black and then this part of the mirror will get painted that creamy color with just a touch of black to highlight the design at the top so excited so excited and then the dresser that's out on the back porch is going to get some of this I don't know exactly yet, but some of that. So this piece and that piece out there are going to get finished this week. That's, they're going to be finished by Friday. We have got to rock and roll. And um, yeah, if our new booth is opening, I mean, we are sold out of furniture in our other booth. There is one piece of furniture that is painted. And that is another one of the a little bench, little farmhouse bench. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm stressing out. Honey's like, don't stress, don't stress. And I'm like, this is a really good stress. It's a good problem to have being sold out. So it's not a bad stress. It's a good stress. If that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, there is a pile of stuff over there. All of this stuff that got thrifted last week and I'm going to do a video on that right now so here I go 30 guys this is what's going on out here Ugh. more snow now I kind of start to understand why people don't like it because it, sometimes it's just too much but I did want to show you the decision on 
here. It's easier to tell here. This is what we did. And what I did was I just took two different or three different colors of stains and I just kind of like swiped it here and there because there was already the gray. The gray was already part of it. <clears throat> and we used some colors that would kind of tie in with, with this. And then we brought in some dark, like a cocoa bean. So yeah, that's what we did. And we love it. Hope you guys like it too. All right, that's gonna be enough for today. It's time to have dinner, relax, and be done with vintage stuff and things. So we'll see you guys next week, bye.